Oh, we call it the season of giving, and it's important to teach our children to be grateful and how to give back to the community and those less fortunate. Child care advocate Florence Ann Romano joins us live from Chicago with ideas on making these activities fun for teens and kids. Florence, thanks for coming back, and nice chat with you again. So happy to be here. So good to see you. So Giving Tuesday, this is an important time to teach kids how to give back. And, uh, you know, like we were saying in the break, it, when I was growing up, it was something you had to do. It was something that you were taught right. to do. Nowadays, right. it's phrased and, and it's taught all differently. And there are so many more options for the kids to get involved in. I think children tend to think that philanthropy or when you think about giving back and not even children, adults too, think it has to do with the money in your pocket, the check you can write. Uh, and that's really not what it's about. And as we need to teach our children from the sandbox, what it really means to lead with empathy, what it means to take care of each other, what it means to put each other first. Yeah. Uh, and this is the season to be doing it. Empathy, one of the hardest things to teach kids, but you've got a whole list of some really fun things to do that gets the kids involved, not just giving over money, but making food boxes, sending letters to troops overseas. Let's start with where you think is a good place to start for the younger kids. For the younger kids, drawing pictures or writing letters, even if it's scribbles, to an old folks home or, like you said, the veterans or a children's hospital. I sit on the board of Lurie Children's Hospital here in Chicago, and believe me, I see firsthand what it means to these children to receive those care boxes or those letters um, because they're so isolated. They are so alone during the holidays. And I think we forget yeah. that, you know, as joyous it is, as it is, there are people that don't have people. And to make sure your children know that it's important for us to take, other, take care of others and make sure we're putting others first, especially those that are alone or feeling lonely. A hand-drawn note from a kid can make a big difference. For the teens who are coming up, uh, you know, young adults, teens, showing them, having them go down and give their time or uh, collect clothes and donate to a shelter, that's also really good because it teaches them, uh, it kind of, I don't want to say humbleizes them, but shows them what they have and how much is needed out there. It does. It's perspective. You know, it's a wonderful life. You know, hopefully everybody watches that every year because they think we can all learn something yeah. from that every year. But hands on, that's what, you know, really, you know, gets it into the bones, gets it into the soul. Uh, and I think if you can be with people, we weren't able to be with people for so long. You know, this is the year to get in front of people again and to see and, you know, firsthand how other people live and to count your blessings. And sometimes it takes being in front of someone, being in the environment to really understand that. So many great tips. You can also donate. Uh, one of the things on your list I wanted to get to, uh, donate to an animal shelter. Give your time there. They get to see pets. They get to help out. Florence and Romano, thank you again for giving us a chance to celebrate everyone else and teach our kids something in the process. Nice chatting with you. You too. Have a beautiful holiday. You too. Thank you.